Let's see what Phil has in store for us today. I think he told me he left it open. Huh. Crab champions. Okay, all right. seriously cannot be what this game is hold on let me get some notes from phil let me check to make sure that this is right oh um okay huh it's just, yeah, the crowd champions, okay. Um, Yo, what is going on, GT fam? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, it's your homie, it's your uh, crab with a gun here, <laughs> GT Omega. Man, I never thought I'd say that in a video. But anyways, hope you all are having a wonderful day. Today we are going to be playing a really cool and really fun game that is called Crab Champions. Now, uh, I know probably a lot of you have heard of this game before. It has been uh, a really popular game on Steam for the last couple months here. A lot of streamers, from what I understand, have also played this game. And yeah, basically the whole purpose of it is it's kind of like a... I, I'm not sure if I would say a battle royale, but kind of like a... Kind of like a shoot em and loot em type thing. And yeah, uh, basically from this game, you are a crab with a gun. You don't know why you've been sent here. You don't know basically anything about yourself. In fact, there's no even real story. You just know that you can pick guns up from here and then basically that's it um but yeah this game is super duper fun i have been playing it for quite some time now and because it is still an early access game uh one thing that the devs have promised to give us is uh, a couple more levels a couple more islands to explore and also a couple more bosses uh to have some more fun in so yeah without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and jump into the first island here now i do want to go ahead and apologize for the horrible uh, aim you're going to see here in this first uh, island. I have not ever used this gun before. This is the dual pistol uh, loadout. And yeah, as you can see here, I am sorely missing my aim button. Uh, usually I only use weapons that have an aim function on them. And combined with that, I also use the aerial perk, as you could probably tell, because I'm just jumping up so much in the air. But aside from that, yeah, um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to move uh, quite a couple islands into the future just so that you can kind of see what a more proficient flow looks like and also it's just going to be a lot more fun. So yeah, we'll get to that now. Before we go ahead and do that though, my good friends, we are going to make a stop at the shop. So here is where you basically um, buy all of your perks and you can also go ahead and test out your damage. Now, because this is going to be such a long video, I'm only going to show you all the perks that I purchased, and then we will go ahead and hop into a couple islands later from this. So yeah, let's do it.
All right, and to go ahead and kick things off, we are going to start with Island A tier. Now, this was my first flawless run of the game. I could have gotten one a little bit sooner, but unfortunately, uh, I literally like jumped in front of a crab. I think it was like an Island 4 or something. And yeah, Homeboy just gave me a quick bonk over the head and that ruined my, <laughs> my flawless run. But yeah, one thing you will notice with a lot of uh, players that try to go for flawless, including myself, is we tend to, you know, get that movement in, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, we slide around a lot, and that is because the longer you stay in one place, the more likely you are to get hit by something, either a crab or, you know, another crab with a gun, a slug, uh, which we just saw there. So, yeah, you want to keep moving around to make sure that you can ensure yourself a flawless run goes well. Uh, typically, it, as long as you keep moving around, honestly, you don't even really have to clear out enemies, but it's definitely in your favor, number one, just because you earn enemies, and number two, you don't want to stay complacent with not clearing out enemies, because it will definitely be important in the latter runs. But yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll let this play out, and then we'll jump on to some more fun stuff, because trust me, from here, it definitely gets a lot more entertaining. All right, everyone, and as you can see here, we are now on Island 13. Now, I specifically wanted to highlight Island 13 just because, number one, it was my third flawless run of the video, but in addition to that, this is the first flawless run that actually mattered, apart from the ones that you can usually do. The reason why this one matters a little bit more than some of the other ones is because this island doesn't usually award anything for a flawless run. However, if you equip... Uh, a perk from the shop or I mean you can even get it in just a regular chest from uh, you know clearing an island but it won't usually show up regardless of that though 
Um, the perk, I believe, is called Performance Bonus, and essentially what it allows you to do is it will grant you an additional chest if you flawless run any island, not just the ones where you already get a flawless run bonus. If you do get a flawless in addition to an island that was already supporting a flawless run, I believe there is a chance to actually not only double up, but basically triple up on the amount of weapons, mods, or perks that you will be able to get in the second island. So yeah, just a basic tip for you. Um, I've seen a lot of people combo this with streamer loot, which basically allows you to have a chance to get uh, more legendary or just rare perks and weapons mods uh, within a specific chest, or really just all of them as far as I'm aware of. And yeah, it'll definitely help you out a lot. Uh, because basically not only are you increasing the amount of chests that you can get from a single island, but on top of that, you can um, give yourself a really good chance to get more effective perks and more effective weapons mods. And trust me, whenever you're going for a high, a high run um, on any difficulty, it definitely helps out a ton. So yeah, just a little bit of advice there. All right, everyone, and here is Island 16. Now, I specifically wanted to go ahead and show off this island because I feel like this is a more accurate representation of what Crab Champions is as a whole. So the further in that you get into the islands, you'll notice two things right off the bat. Number one, how many crabs there are. Number two, how aggressive the crabs are, so how much they'll try and sling crab at you just like you're trying to kill them but also number three how much damage they would deal now obviously we're not going to take any damage here because i'm awesome <laughs> i'm really not but uh we also have a ton of armor plates but in addition to that um we've we've beefed up quite a lot with the weapon mods and perks so just keep that in mind that the higher you go the higher the risk it is for you to get hit by you know objects and by other crabs but at the same time there's a far higher reward for you as far as you know just satisfaction wise but also the perks that you will be picking up so keep that in mind and yeah that's, that's really all the advice i have for you aside from that um we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start a parkour run here this is so that you can have sort of a little break from the norm and so things can be a little bit safer for you uh basically you just have to clear the entire island within the amount of time by dashing and jumping onto different platforms and stuff like that but yeah, that's really all there is to it. And yeah, as you'll see here in these next islands, it's going to be a lot more fun. So I'll go ahead and shut up now and let you enjoy this run, uh, apart from the funny fail. But yeah, it's basically all there is to it. All right, see ya.
Okay, everyone, we are back at the shop. Uh, I did just want to go ahead and say a couple things here. Um, number one, I'd like to apologize for all the rough cuts that you're going to see. Um, it, they had to come out like this just because I wanted to shorten up the video, but also show you all as much of the fun stuff as I could quite possibly do. Uh, in addition to that, I also did want to say that this boss was insanely fun and insanely easy just because he was way too weak and we were way too strong. But uh, yeah, homie's absolutely going to get decked. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> um, the other thing too is in this next island, you're going to hear a chime and that's because we accidentally broke a crystal that actually will let in more enemies and I was sweating bullets the entire time that it happened. But yeah, that's basically it. So yeah, enjoy the next run. See you on the other side. No, stop. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? No, come on, they're too close to me. What am I gonna do? No! Oh my god! <laughs> he actually did. Oh! God, that scared the hell out of me. I didn't know that we were gonna come out of that on the other side. Wow! I killed them just in the nick of time. Hot damn, bro. That was way too close. Hello again, beautiful people. I believe I did all promise you an insane and hectic last island, and I gotta say, I think I delivered on that 100%. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to actually pop in here and thank you all for watching the video for this long. If you have been watching it, um, I am beyond stoked and just super appreciative that you would even give an unknown and small channel like mine a chance. Um, with that being said, I wanted to mention that. I think I may very well go along and uh, keep making more videos like this because the game is absolutely a blast. And with that being said too, if you did like um, you know, some of the content that you're seeing here on the channel, to consider leaving a like and subscribing or maybe even just leaving a comment just to show your support um, because it means the world to me. But with that being said too, I would also love for you to go ahead and get the game yourself to play it and join in on the fun. And who knows, maybe even we'll, we'll join in in, uh, in a co-op game together. I believe I did show my Steam tag during the beginning of the video. So yeah, if you ever want to go ahead and hit me up to uh, play some Crab Champions, I would absolutely be down for that. Uh, just because I've never actually done a co-op game, but the co-op games look so, so much fun. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and drop it here and let you all enjoy the rest of the video. I think we still have about five or so islands left. So yeah. Thank you all so much again for watching this video, and see ya!
All right, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I don't even think this is gonna be a challenge just because we're doing so much damage. Let's see here. Ooh, oh my God, yeah, we're doing way too much damage. Bro is gonna be out of here super quick. Oh no, I think I got hit. Is that a flawless? Oh, it's not a flawless. Whatever though, bro is absolutely gone. <laughs> we pulverized him to the ground with these dual pistols. These are freaking awesome. God. I'm gonna absolutely love the next 30 islands. This is this is so much fun. This has to be my best run. Man, I really want this black hole. That on a grenade would be epic. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think I'm gonna pick it. Yeah, let's get it. Alright, let's try it out. 25% radius. Whoa! This has to be the coolest pickup I think I've ever gotten. Anyways, y'all, that is going to be it for this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. If you have anything at all to say, leave it down in the comment section below. But aside from that, please stay safe, stay hydrated, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye. Hamter.